Mullen is one of my favorite friends of late summer. Not only is it a beautiful sight with its towering flowering stalks with those creamy yellow flowers, it's also a welcome gift for supporting the lungs in these summers that are now often filled with wildfire smoke. In this video, I'm sharing the respiratory health benefits of mullein leaf, and I'll show you how you can make mullein tea. Hello, I'm Rosalie de la Forêt, herbalist teacher and best-selling herbal author. I created this YouTube channel to share trusted herbal knowledge so that you can get the best results when using herbs for your health. Make sure to stick around to the end of this video to get my recipe for mullein tea to benefit the lungs and support respiratory health. And while you're watching, let me know in the comments below your favorite ways to work with mullen. It's always interesting and insightful to hear the experiences of plant lovers out there, and your suggestion may also inspire others. Okay, let's dive in. I love watching my garden wake up in the early morning hours of the summer. As the sun readies itself to crest over the eastern ridge, birds and bees and small mammals are beginning to stir. It's easy for mullen to draw my attention during this time. These tall stalks often tower far above me, making them hard to ignore. Mullen also draws attention because of its full of life. I often see hummingbirds resting on the stalks. Woodpeckers often go up and down the stalk, perhaps eating the ants and other bugs, as well as eating some of the millions of seeds that are forming. One morning while I was harvesting strawberries, I found a whole family of voles underneath the thick mullein leaves. The babies were small and hairless, probably only a few days old. The large leaves perfectly curled over their nook, offering a beautiful refuge from the world. Whether you're considering mullein stature, its important role in the greater ecosystem, or its gifts of medicine, it's hard not to be impressed with this beautiful plant. Originally from Europe and Asia, mullein species have spread all over North America. They love disturbed soils with lots of sunlight. They can grow in rich garden soil as well as gravelly roadsides. The easiest time to find and identify mullein is in the late summer months and fall when these tall flowering stalks become a beacon. Some folks think of mullein as a weed, an uninvited guest from faraway lands, and perhaps because of its stature, mullein is an easy target for misplaced hatred, or at least misunderstanding. It's a strange thing that humans disturb soils and habitats and then blame the plants that come to nourish and heal the bare earth. Mullen, as generous as ever, offers many gifts and virtues to humans. My hope is that fewer people see mullen as an unwanted guest and more as this bountiful herb that we are so lucky to have. Mullen leaf has long been loved for soothing the lungs and quelling coughs. It is a mild relaxant to the lungs and also a mild demulsant. It soothes inflammation and dryness, often the causes of irritation for people with smoke exposure. I often combine mullen leaves with other demulsants such as mallow, marshmallow, or linden. Mullen is wonderful for coughs and lung inflammation from all kinds of irritants and pathologies, whether it's particulate matter in the air or symptoms from asthma or an upper respiratory infection. Once you experience mullen's ability to soothe the respiratory system, you'll be amazed at the power of this ubiquitous plant. Yet, it's a gentle herb that is safe for children and the elderly. You can work with mullen as a tea, and I'll share my recipe later. And while it sounds a bit counterintuitive, inhaling mullen smoke is a way to directly get mullen's relaxing qualities to the lungs, to relax constrictions and aid in stopping a cough. Like anything, this method can be overdone, but when you get it just right, you can have dramatic and quick results. So how does mullen work? Well, undoubtedly in many ways. One study published in July of 2021 showed that mullen contained many constituents that modulate inflammation. In the conclusion of the paper, the researchers stated that these could serve as inspiration for the design of improved drugs to treat a wide range of pathologies, including respiratory pathologies, which are of particular interest at this moment in the contents of COVID-19 pandemic.
Mullen leaf is nutrient dense. When prepared as a nourishing herbal infusion, you can drink it frequently, not only to support lung health, but also to benefit from its high levels of calcium and magnesium. Mullen's roots dig deep into the earth, bringing up minerals and metals into its leaves. While this can result in nutritive leaves, Mullen also has the ability to uptake heavy metals, which could pose a health hazard for human, but also has benefits for the soil. Mullen is a hyper accumulator of heavy metals. This means that it can uptake heavy metals from the earth and store it. This ability has led to some interesting research on using mullen for soil remediation. Researchers in Serbia tested five different plants for cleaning up a heavily contaminated site. Their research concluded, because mullen efficiently transported metal pollutants into the above ground parts, and because it fits well the desired characteristics for its use as a biomass, it is our plant of choice for further bioremediation use at the polluted industrial site. Mullen is generally regarded as safe. However, it's always important to harvest plants from healthy soils and to resist the temptation of roadside mullen plants. Mullen boasts large, hairy leaves, which can feel like thick, dense wool. The complex web of plant fibers covering the leaves protect the plant from the strong rays of the sun. These same plant fibers are a bit irritating to human skin, which can be annoying, medicinal, or both, because of this potentially irritating action. When processing a lot of mullen leaves, you might want to wear gloves. The action of irritating the skin is called rubefacient. This irritation dilates the capillaries, increasing circulation to the area, and this has a wide variety of therapeutic applications. Used on the chest, mullen leaves can help move stagnancy in the lungs, increasing healthy thin mucus that can be readily expelled. And if you're simply interested in seeing rubefacient action in work, try rubbing the fresh leaves on your skin and see the results. A clinical trial that was published in 2021 showed that people using a topical cream of mullen on episiotomy wounds had significantly better results than those using a placebo. The study concluded that verbascum thapsis is effective in repairing episiotomy wounds. The researchers hope that the results of this study can provide clinical evidence for the use of this herbal medicine in the wound healing process. Great mullen, Verbascum thapsis, is the most common species of mullen that is readily found in North America. There are other species that are used similarly, such as Verbascum virgatum, Densiflorum, and Olympicum. These two latter species have flower stalks that are really dense, making it easier for a flower harvest. Medicinal seed suppliers often carry these other species. I'm here with Verbascum thapsis. So that's what I'm going to describe. Mullen loves to grow in disturbed soils. It prefers sun and can grow in poor gravelly soils. Mullen is a biennial plant, meaning it takes two years for it to complete its life cycle. In the first year, a large basal rosette of silvery green and hairy leaves appear. By the late summer and fall, the leaves can be very erect and easily up to a foot in length. In the second year, it sends up a long flower stalk, like you see here. The bottom of the stalk will have leaves growing alternately and become smaller and smaller in height. The stalk then transitions to yellow flowers. This height of the stalk can reach two meters or more. Flowers have five petals and five stamens. They start blossoming at the base of the stalk and then bloom progressively up the stalk. The flower stalk darkens to brown in the fall and often persists through the winter and even into the next year. Mullen stalks produce millions of tiny seeds that will persist in the soil for hundreds of years. The roots are thin branch taproots with a creamy color.
the first step to making herbal preparations is harvesting the desired part at the right time. Because mullen is a biennial plant, taking two years to complete its life cycle, the leaves can be harvested at the end of the first and the beginning of the second year, or really any time that they look vibrant and healthy. Mullen often grows in colonies, so where you find one mullen plant, you'll often find many. It readily spreads by seed, and many seeds stay viable in the soil for possibly hundreds of years. While mullen isn't an endangered plant, and it would be difficult to negatively affect a population, I still approach it with admiration and respect. There have been times when friends have offered to let me weed their garden of mullen, and in those cases, I harvest the entire plant at will. However, when harvesting leaves and flowers in the wild, I harvest here and there to ensure a thriving population. If you live in an area where mullen is not abundant, then it will be especially important to harvest in a way that supports further plant growth and future plant harvests. If you'd like more tips on growing, identifying, and working with this marvelous plant, then check out my book, Wild Remedies how to forage healing foods and craft your own herbal medicine, which includes recipes for mullen and yarrow, facial steam, and herbal burning bundles. The Botanical Safety Handbook gives mullen its highest safety rating, but there's a couple of considerations worth mentioning. The dense woolly hairs on the mullen leaves can be a bit irritating. When garbling or handling lots of mullen leaves, you might want to wear gloves. When drinking an infusion of the leaves, you want to strain it really well through a coffee filter or through several layers of cheesecloth to remove those hairs from the tea. As mentioned, mullen is a hyperaccumulator of heavy metals, so be certain that the mullen you're harvesting and using comes from healthy soils that aren't heavily contaminated with metals. This soothing mullen tea is perfect for dry and irritated lungs caused by smoke inhalation, dry air, or fine particle inhalation. It can be drunk daily to support overall lung health. The ingredients are a half cup or 10 grams of finely crumbled dried mullen leaves, an eighth of a cup or four grams of finely crumbled dried plantain leaves, an eighth of a cup or four grams of finely crumbled dried mallow leaves, one tablespoon of dried hibiscus, and two teaspoons dried mint. Here's how I make the tea. I place all the herbs in a quart jar or a quart sized tea press. Then I pour just boiled water over the herbs, stir well, and then cover. Infuse for about 30 minutes or as long as overnight. Then you want to strain it really well through a coffee filter or a couple of layers of cheesecloth to avoid those small irritating hairs on the mullen leaves. Then drink it within 24 hours. My success is seeing your success. So to make things easy for you, I've created a free recipe card that you can download. You can get your mullen tea recipe card by visiting the link in the video description. Also in the video description, I've included other helpful links like where you can buy mullen as well as both of my books. If you enjoyed this video on mullen benefits and you value trusted herbal information, then I hope you'll stick around. The best way to get started is to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you can be the first to get my best herbal insights and recipes. Mullen fun fact. Many pollinators visit mullen flowers, but the carter bees have a special relationship with mullen. They visit the plant to gather the hairs from the mullen leaves to line their nests.